Great. Audio is rolling. This is really exciting. Video is rolling. Video is now rolling too. That's just great. Can we get a snap? A nice loud one. Thank you. That was great. Ah, excellent. All right. Here we go. Hi, my name is Zachary Vex, and this is the Johnny Octave. The Johnny Octave is an analog octave up pedal, which goes up either one octave or two octaves. The controls are two knobs, and the switches, there's two of those two. The one on the right is a bypass, and when you turn it on, it activates either the first octave up or the second octave up, depending on which one's been selected by the switch on the left. The uh, knob on the right is the octave one volume, and the knob on the left is the octave two volume. Now, let's hear what it sounds like, first of all, without the Johnny Octave. I'm playing with the rhythm pickup, the neck pickup, um, at the 12th fret. With the first octave turned on, on the Johnny Octave, it sounds like this. Double stops without the Johnny Octave sound like this. But with the Johnny Octave, all kinds of strange things happen. Chords get strange. Without the Johnny Active, that sounded like this. Now, let's test the different octaves. First, no. Now with the first octave up. One. Now two octaves up. Fine. You start playing those double stops and it just gets pretty darn weird on that second octave up. <laughs> All right, let's try it with a fuzz. Turn on that fuzz factory, which is off screen. By now, most of you have become familiar with the sound of the fuzz factory from my other demonstrations. Here comes one octave up with the fuzz factory. Two octaves up. Now, what can you do with the Johnny Octave that I haven't demonstrated so far? Well, you can adjust trim pots on the inside for your own particular playing style. Ashley will hold up the uh, open Johnny Octave we have here. On the far right, you'll see the gain control or drive control for the first octave, which drives how hard it hits the octave. Now, if you play hard yourself, you'll want to turn that gain control down if you want to have a nice, clean octave sound kick in right away. If you have the gain control turned up too high, it'll saturate, and you won't hear the octave for a little while. There's a recovery gain right after that, the second one from the right. And that, what that does is it readjusts how loud the uh, maximum volume can go on the control on the front. And it gives you more gain uh, coming out of the octave. The same thing with the next two pots. Uh, the first of the next two, which would be the third one from the right, is the drive control for the second octave up. And the one after that is the uh, recovery gain for the second octave up. Uh, there's instructions in the instruction manual that tell you a little bit about adjusting those things. But they can be tweaked around for your own personal listening pleasure, and I would definitely recommend marking them with a little marker before you move them so you know how to get them back, basically kind of where they were when you started, if you find that your new sounds don't sound quite as good as it did before you started. Is there anything else I should be demonstrating or discussing about the Johnny Octave here? Huh? Hey, she thinks I got it covered. So we're done. That was it. That was Johnny Octave. Have fun. See ya. Bye.